In Richmond, Virginia, there's a controversial street called Monument Avenue, with giant statues primarily honoring the lost cause of the Confederacy. Recently, due to widespread protest, these statues have started to come down. But another very different statue still stands on Monument Avenue. In the 1990s, a monument was built to honor Arthur Ashe, legendary tennis player, world champion, author, and humanitarian. The sculptor of Arthur Ashe's statue and my longtime neighbor, Paul Di Pasquale, talks to me in his backyard, explaining how the statue came to be nearly the last one standing on Monument Avenue. I met him in 92. It was right after Mr. Ashe announced publicly that he had contracted AIDS from tumor operation blood transfusion. It created in my mind what looked like a, a social need to recognize this native son of Richmond and of Virginia, born and raised here, who was an international star and world champion three times over. I mean, I knew him from high school watching videos or seeing him in Time magazine. I sent the letter and I answered the phone and, it, and he asked for me and said, this is Arthur Ashe calling. And so uh, after almost dropping the phone, I took notes. And I said, what would you like your message to be at this time in your life? And he said, well, uh, I would like to be as I am today, which of course was dying of AIDS. And he said, I, I want to be in tennis warm-ups but the first thing he said is, I would like children to be involved in some way, either one child or several children. Um, children are our future. He said, I want books to be showcased. I want the message to be that knowledge is power. And my shoelaces would be untied, he said. And I suppose a tennis racket should be in there somewhere. And I don't want to be the center of attention, which is all right, how do we do a monument to somebody who's not the center of attention? So, Monument Avenue didn't seem to fit. The question changed from why put Arthur Ashe on Monument Avenue to why shouldn't we put Arthur Ashe on Monument Avenue? He's a modern day hero, born and bred in Richmond, Virginia. Why wouldn't we put him on Monument Avenue to honor this man uh, and update Monument Avenue? Well, here it is, uh, 24 years later. The other monuments that belong to the city are now down. All the other four Confederates are down. And the last one is General Lee. The governor wants General Lee taken down as well for safety as well as to change the message of Monument Avenue. The message of Monument Avenue is Arthur Ashe stands on Monument Avenue. and. Monument Avenue is a long avenue. There's plenty of room for other heroes. There's plenty of room for other art. And I think the value of public art is it reflects the thinking of, of the culture at the time. Monument Avenue is changing, and we don't know where it's headed, but we do know that Arthur Ashe stands on it. Now, he may be moved to uh, what's considered a better place. We simply have to wait and see. Arthur Ashe said, True heroism is remarkably sober, very undramatic. It is not the urge to surpass all others at whatever cost, but the urge to serve others at whatever cost. <laughs>